Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How is everyone doing today? Well, today, guess what? Can you tell by this what we're going to be doing? <laughs> we're going golfing today, everybody. How'd you like that swing? Oh, your, your form was just perfect. I know. Isn't that, I look at that this. form. There we go. There we go. I thought it would be good. <laughs> so... One in Phil's golf bag and got out a Titleist one. And I said to him, this is a Titleist one. Don't you have any other, like, other balls? He goes, oh, I only use Titleist one. <laughs> and it was a brand new ball. I go, don't you have any old ones? Oh, no, I don't have any old ones. So we're using hey. a brand new one. And now he's asking me, can we get the paint off of it? Now he's concerned about getting the paint off of it. Oh, whatever. Well, when I, when I go golfing, I have to look like I know what I'm doing. Well... You got one with paint on it, so it might bring you good luck. Okay, there we go. But anyways, getting back to this. We're done golfing now. I didn't score very well. But anyways, this is a 12 by 12 canvas. I already have my base coat down, which is Forever Lilac, number 9067, Sherwin-Williams. Color to go in their little mm. sample container. You can only get it in this size container, the colors. So, head on over there, get them. There's no silicone, there's no water, and there's no glue in it. It's right out of this container. All right. So, the colors I have chosen to go with this lilac is Quinacridone Violet by Golden, Kiwi by Primary Elements, Deep Gold by Golden, Temptation Primary Elements, and Quinacridone Magenta by Golden. So, I'm going to do a swipe. Then I'm going to wreck with Phil's Titleist One Golf Ball. And we'll see how much paint we get on it. Hey, you might invent new golf balls by all the paint on them. Oh, they got all kinds of colored fancy golf balls nowadays. They do? Yes. Well, you can tell I don't golf. I don't even know it. I know they come in like orange and, and blue and white. Pink, yellow, green. No, I'm meaning is it kind of like a, like a paisley? Do they make paisley golf balls? They probably do. If they don't, you may be the first one to go to the golf course, to the driving range and have one. And they'll go, hey sir, how'd you get that ball? Oh, one of my wife's ideas. You just let her be. She does her own thing. Yeah, I can't go to the golf. Even when I walk the dog, because we can see the golf course every time we walk. And when the golfers just stand there and like, oh my gosh, they go one, two, three, sometimes four. I just want to yell, hit the ball, people. Let's get moving. You, it's so annoying to me. You gotta get into the right frame of mind and the feeling and your swing thought. And okay, everything, so you know? know what? They get into the right frame of mind, and then you know what? They duff the ball. Oh, I know, I know. That's, I mean, it's like it's comical. It it's comical. <laughs> you're Tiger Woods until you hit the ball, and then you're back to being a weekend duffer. Well, you're a weekend something because these guys just. Okay, so Kathy is taking her black cell activator, which is Amsterdam black paint and Australian Floetrol, and putting it on the back of her spatula. Okay. Oh. Now, we're just going to swipe. Swipe. Well, we're going to see what we're going to do here. Well, you might have to do, do lay, lay some more paint down. No, I think I have a method to my madness here. So okay. I think. All right. That's fine. Well, you picked oh, up some... Oh, look at... I got cells on my spatula. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you picked up some nice cells on that first swipe. That's good. That's good. Good start. I think you birdied that one. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? I got right down to business. That's right. I wasn't fooling around here like some of these golfers. Good thing you have me as your caddy. Yeah. Right. 
I just, I just can't, can't take it how they mm. fool around like that. It's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. These paints and pigments that Kathy is using today all have the same recipe, and that's in video 478. And that'll give you her recipe for her pouring medium, her cell activator, and how she does some of her color bases. A direct link to that recipe video is in the description box. Looking pretty cool, Phil. Well, you're laying down some nice swipes, so that's the first part of it. Now we're moving on. Oh no, okay, now you're going to use some cards, all right. Yes, I am. Very good. I want to have a whole bunch of designs here. Okay. So I'm moving on to cards. So you're doing some crossing swipes with the cards? Yes, I am. We are. We're moving on to a whole bunch of different things. Kathy does have four different shops for you to peruse. Of course, she has her Amazon shop, which contains all the supplies you may need for paint pouring. She has her Etsy shop, which has all her original art for sale in it. She has a Redbubble shop, which is a shop that has her art images on a wide variety of merchandise. And her newest shop, La Galerist, has her images imprinted on fine clothing. And that's really a cool shop with the dresses and the tops and so forth, flowy tops and really cool dresses that have her images imprinted on there. So, again, in the description Palazzo box, pants, too. Palazzo, Palazzo pants. pants. They're okay. so cool. Whatever those are. Uh, <laughs> there's direct links to all four of those shops in the description box. Leggings. Purses. You know what Palazzo pants are. I wore them when we were dating, Phil. That's how old they are. They came back in. Really? Mm-hmm. Palazzo pants came back in, which is cool because they're real wide-legged. Oh, okay. Okay, so you have the swipes done. Mm-hmm. And now, now I'm going to take this. <laughs> Bye bye, ball. At least that's one I can't hit into the water. But I need to. Okay. This might be a little heavy. See what I mean? Well, actually. Yeah, it's digging in too deep. I think so. Let's see. To see. Well, it's actually making the groove of the golf ball, but see how deep it went? But I think we're going to be fine when we spin it and see what happens. Okay. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm not done yet. Uh uh. Oh, no, Phil. We're not done yet. We're going all the way here with this. Whatever you think needs to be done, that would be great. Well, I'm just giving it a little bit more character. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just a little bit of character, Phil. I think that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna see what happens. I don't know how this good is gonna stay on here, but we're gonna find out. It'll be fine. Oh, this 
might be really pretty. I think the hole's filled in. Well, yeah, they should with the spinning that should alleviate that uh, problem. Oh, wow. But this is quite different. This is really pretty. The colors are you, really pretty. I like that you retained the cells in the different areas and the wrecking lines created by my golf ball are pretty cool. Where is your golf ball? You took it out of there. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> Look at how pretty it is. My poor golf is. ball. Oh my gosh. Did you want to try to center that at all? Or do you like? No, I well, like actually, that the composition. composition is pretty nice. I like it. I'm not doing anything to it. And the the lilac base um, is, is coming through very nicely. It's really pretty. And offsetting. Because these are all of the lines by the golf ball. Yes. Those. All these. Right. Those are. And how they uh, expanded and got sort of this frilly. This is really like pretty. I, I really like this. What I love I, the colors. Yes. What I like about how you do this is you do the swipe, which creates some cells. Okay. I like, I like that there's some cells involved in different areas of uh, the painting. And then you've got the negative space and it's really cool. It's really pretty, but I'm so sad with your golf ball, Phil, but you know what? It is what it is. That's true. You have a whole bag of balls. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Until I play around and my bag's about half empty. <laughs> well, then you lost your balls. Yeah, well, that's... I usually lose my mind on the golf course half the time. No, I don't really care. I don't even keep score half the time. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. But anyways, okay, getting back to this. We try a golf ball, people. And don't worry if it goes down into your canvas because, see, it filled all in. Yes. You don't have to worry about that. I was a little bit worried about that, thinking, oh, is it going to fill in those holes? But it did when I spun it. And I'm sure if you just tip it, it'll fill in as well. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. This was a lot of fun. Um, don't worry. If you need any balls, Phil has a whole bag full. <laughs> uh, and they're all brand new, so you don't have to worry. He doesn't use old ones. But anyways, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you join in here on the fun. You never know what we're going to do. And um, I hope everybody has a great day. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And until the next time, you know we all love all of you. So love you all. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye.